Hi, I'm Bob Humphrey with another tip from Yamaha Outdoors. Deer season's over now, and for a lot of folks, that means it's time to turn your attention to other things, indoor or outdoor activities. But for the real savvy hunters, deer season never ends. After the season over is a great time to catch up on some important things like postseason scouting and attending to some of your equipment. Come on along and I'll tell you what I mean. Again, one of the important things that you can do now is scout. Postseason just after the hunting season ends is a really good time to scout for deer because everything is fresh. The deer are still in the same patterns, doing the same activities and in the same areas that they were while hunting season was still going on. But now there's less pressure so they've relaxed a little bit and you can get out and you can look around and see what's going on. For much the same reason, this is also a really good time to get out and trim your shooting lanes. You can get out there, you can cut stuff down. Cut stuff down now and you're not going to disturb the deer nearly as much as if it's close to the time that you're going to hunt. In addition, some of this stuff, if it's edible, provides a more accessible source of food for the deer that they otherwise wouldn't be able to reach, and they'll be more attracted to the area. And finally, if you want to pick up some of this stuff, if you do a lot of trimming, if you do a lot of cutting, you can pick up some of this stuff, and you can actually build fences out of it to make the deer go where you want them to go rather than where they want to go. Now, a few tools that you want to carry. Some loppers are nice for the bigger stuff. A saw for the really big stuff. Just a collapsible folding saw. And then, I always carry a pair of ratchet pliers. Uh, these are better than standard nippers because you can pick a bigger branch, bigger, bigger limb, and it'll ratchet through, spin it around. Uh, makes a really nice cut with a small, compact and easy to handle tool. That's about it for, for clearing shooting lanes. Now another thing you should be doing this time of year is check on your stands. You can get in the woods quickly and once again you don't have to worry about being quiet. So if you've got to make some noise, moving things around, changing things, now again is the time to do it. Check all the web belts. The, the straps, the connections, the fixtures. Um, make sure that it's sturdy. Pull your cushion seats out for the winter. And um, ladders, you can leave them in if you choose to do so. But again, make sure that your straps are, are retightened and everything's ready to go. It's a better idea if you can just take it down and lay it down, take the straps in. Um, climbers, you take home anyway. Lock ons, it might be a good idea to, to pull those all in now at the end of the season. Put them away in storage and they'll be ready to go next year. Now another thing you might want to do this time of year is pull your cameras if you use scouting cameras. But before you do that you might want to rethink it for just a bit. I'll sometimes leave my cameras out a month or even more after the season. That gives me an idea which deer made it through the season, which deer I can put on my hit list for the coming year. So leave them out again a week or two, maybe more, give you an idea what's out there, help you build a hit list for the coming year. And with today's cameras, the battery life, even in extreme cold weather, is outstanding. So you can leave all the oldest stuff and you can get a month, two months worth of postseason scouting, help you get a jump start on next season. In addition to scouting sign and possible stand locations for next season, it's also a great time to look for shed antlers, but we're going to save that for another time. That's it for this time, but please tune in again soon and often to Yamaha Outdoors.